I, I was brought up a Catholic and um, I went to a convent school and by far the most dominant figure of my entire childhood and my upbringing was the Virgin Mary. And then as I became a writer in my 20s, I was very curious about what the sources were and to some extent I had an intuition that there was more to the history than I had been told because she was presented as a primordial fact, nothing as if there was no history attached to her, she was just the symbol of the Mother of God, pure and, sim and very s and simple. So, and then when I, I began with the Gospels and I found that there are some traces of the Virgin Mary in the Gospels but not that many, I was taken aback and that really set me off on the historical quest into what had created this extremely powerful figure of a divine woman, a woman blessed with a unique history, a unique destiny. And the second paradox that struck me was not just the lack of scriptural profound evidence for her, but the, was the clash between expectations of women and the power of this particular female symbol. So the book belongs in a feminist movement um, when I wrote it um, in the late 70s. And, um, and that means that I ended with a kind of vision that this would all pass away, that we would build a new world in which there would be greater equality for women, there would be greater understanding of the capacities of women. Some of that has happened. But I ended the book saying that the myth of the cult of the Virgin Mary, the myth of the cult of the Virgin Mary, would wither, and I could not have been more wrong, um, because the in the intervening years, the thirty years since I wrote the book, the cult of Mary has probably grown stronger all over the world, but she has changed, and that also interested me. And I wrote a longish introduction for this new edition of the book um, in which I try and look at the ways her figure, her meanings, her image have altered and how she has ceased to be a direct instrument of a kind of, you know, rather rank patriarchy. Um, I mean, an example would be that in fascist Spain, in Franco Spain, the church and state made common cause, the Virgin Mary statue will be carried by the army and so forth. Now that doesn't happen. She is the virgin of the desamparados, or the virgin of the disappeared, the virgin of the poor, and she is constantly evoked in that respect as a symbol for the oppressed.